Hello everyone, my name is Kaksham Madan. I am here to discuss the summer training curriculum for Internet of Things. First of all, why do we learn IoT or why IoT? Now, we all know that we are in a phase or in a culture where everything should be connected. We want to be connected to everything. For example, our phone is connected to our smartwatch. Our smartwatch is connected to our Gmail account and our Gmail account have everything we want to know and my phone is also connected to my Gmail account. So for all of this we need IoT. So as we know the companies that, uh, that, that are using IoT is Intel, Google, Microsoft, every big company or every data company is using IoT. So as far as our mission is concerned for you, we want you to develop a aptitude so that you can pursue your careers or take a step forward in your careers in as an IoT engineer and IIoT engineer. IIoT is basically industrial IoT. Industrial IoT is nothing but IoT which is quite rugged and on industrial level. Data science and a product development engineer. So the course description, we will be use, we'll be learning about the fundamentals of IoT, what is IoT, I basic IoT structures, real world projects, embedded system for IoT, IP networking for connecting IoT systems and different systems, and data analytics for IoT systems. General requirement, I, we just want your enthusiasm and willingness to learn for this, uh, for this uh, program as this program is specially designed for the beginners program specific requirements we want a arduino ide and text editor the professional text editor in your system as vs code day wise curriculum day one and day two are basically for python programming in which we'll be using and learning hacker rank program as you all know the hacker rank and uh, the different companies uses hacker rank and similar pro products to test the ability of the candidates for the interviews so that's why we specially specifically designed the system on hacker rank so that you can get the idea on how interviews will be there how like you'll be giving the interviews module 2 is functional programming in which we'll be generating and designing a tic-tac-toe game Day 4 is basically will be starting for sensor interfacing and the embedded system part. As you can see module 3 and module 4 is the embedded system part of our system. So on day 4, day 3 will be will be going for sensor interfacing for node MCU. Node MCU is a microcontroller unit for IoT and Day 5 and 6 will be uh, there for Raspberry Pi in which we'll be using initial will be learning initializing the Raspberry Pi and interfacing of different sensors with Raspberry Pi using Python. Day 7 will be for uh, IP networking, the connection, the connection part of different systems. Day 9 and day 8 for cloud programming in which we'll be using AWS, Amazon Web Service, and Cloud uh, Google Cloud Service, uh, Google Cloud programs for our different applications like internet based surveillance systems and internet based remote temperature and humidity monitoring system. Day 10, the data analytics part. Why do we need data analytics over here? As we, as I researched about the job programming needs or the job needs, the career needs and the IoT field of IoT, I was coming through a lot about for data science. So I added data science a last class for data science over here. So the projects as we discussed, detector game, temperature detection system, movement alert system using PIR sensor, internet based surveillance system, internet based humidity and temperature system, smart temperature control system, and Google based Google Assistant based home automation system. We'll be learning GitHub, problem solving skills on Hackerman, uh, Hackerang, Python syntax, product project design. Arduino, NodeMCU, AWS, Blink, and Data Analytics. So, as you can see, uh, it's our first project or first application problem solving on HackerRank. We'll be writing our code over here. Day 
the project, uh, second project is tech type to game the fourth project is temperature uh, smart temperature monitoring station in which we will be taking the data from this temperature sensor the temperature sensor will uh, temperature input will go to the uh, sensor unit which will get, get to the local server for uh, data analytics and also the cloud server google assistant based home automation system using ifttt and blink and obviously google assistant and a node mcu these are the relays thank you for any other concerns or queries you can call our team or using this